If you run up on somebody who called himself a prophet, run away. Because God has no more prophets. There are no more apostles. The last apostle was John and he died on the Isle of Patmos. I have a preacher who calls himself a cardinal. It's not going to be long before we're going to have a pope in the Black Baptist Church. Because bishop is not good enough. Cardinal is not going to be good enough after a while. After a while, we're going to have a pope. What's wrong with being pastor? What's wrong with just being a preacher? Everybody wants to have some special knowledge. God is not giving anybody any esoteric knowledge. The only knowledge you and I have now comes from reading the scripture. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakah Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well and a sincere salutation to you, Akim and you, Akwat, that believe in all sincerity. Okay, so you hear what this guy said. His name is Terry K. Anderson. What's wrong with being a preacher? Okay, and the thing about it is these Christians, you know, they, they speak before actually thinking, you know, to look into the scriptures. Excuse me, because when you look in the scriptures, you will clearly see that there is still holy apostles and prophets. This is Luke 1 and 68. Blessed be the Lord power of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people and hath raised up on horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. Okay. And that's Yahweh Shai, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. He came from the house of David, from the lineage of King David. He is that horn of salvation. He is the Savior. Okay. And this was spoken. Okay. Well, it's going to say here in the 70th verse, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. So since the world began, the Most High has spoken through the mouth of his holy prophets. Okay, so who is this guy to say that there's no more apostles, okay, and prophets? And um, I know brothers have done videos on this. I know the elder Mananta Zakba out in South Carolina, um, the elder in uh, Vegas, and I know the brother from uh, Texas have done videos on this. So, you know, Lord willing, I can, you know, uh, spiritually add, you know, put in my two little cents, but, um, I got a couple of scriptures, Lord willing, this will be edifying, because I want to prove that there is holy apostles and prophets on the earth, okay, even to this day, let's see, let's go to, um, Sirach, Yeah, we'll go to Sirach. Sirach 36, and we'll start at the 15th verse. No, 14. Fill Sion with thine unspeakable oracles and thy people with thy glory. Give testimony unto those that thou hast possessed from the beginning. You see? So the Most High has always spoken by the mouth of his holy apostles and prophets. Okay? In these latter days, they are back again. And the Lord is filling Sion with those unspeakable oracles, those prophecies, okay? And they people with thy glory. Give testimony, okay? And we're testifying against uh, Esau, Edom, okay? And the wickedness that is being done throughout the world, okay? So it says, give testimony unto those that thou hast possessed from the beginning. So the apostles and the prophets are always have always been even from the beginning and raise up prophets that have been in thy name and what's the name of the most high yahweh and what's the name of his son it's yahweh shai you see and only sion okay which sion means monument because israel was created to be a monument is going to know these things only them are going to be um 
you know, privy to the secrets. You know, the scriptures say the Lord will do nothing, but he revealed his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. You know, so what is this guy talking about? It says, reward them that wait for thee and let thy prophets be found faithful. You see? So there's going to be a reward for those that wait. Okay. For Yahweh Shai, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And when is that going to happen? At the end. Okay. The reward comes at the end. When, when you know, Yahweh Shai returns, he is going to reward those that were found faithful. You see? This is not talking about prophets in the past. This is talking about those that are waiting in the latter days. You see? Let's get this. This is 1 Corinthians 14 and 32. And the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets because there's such thing as reincarnation. You know? Matter of fact, we'll get this real quick in the book of Jeremiah and then come back. You know, proving that, you know, the Heavenly Father has... A set up apostles and prophets and, and they've been since the beginning and in the latter day they will also be faithful they'll also be speaking okay about prophecy they'll also be uh, um, on the earth this is Jeremiah 1 and 5 before I formed thee in the belly I knew thee and before thou camest forth out of the womb I sanctified thee a prophet unto the nations you see so before a man comes out of the womb, okay, the Lord sanctified him, the Lord ordained him to be a prophet unto the nations, okay, and that's a special office that you will always have if you are uh, given that office, this is, uh, we'll go back to 1 Corinthians 14 and 32, and the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets, Okay. And the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets. So if you were a pro a prophet, if you were um, you know, before you came out of the womb, if you were ordained and sanctified to be a prophet to the nations, you will always be a prophet. You'll always have that spirit to prophesy. And prophesy means to say before. And when you look at um, you know, this Israelite thing, okay, mainly Great Millstone, okay. And those that, that, that have the same doctrine, which is of Yahweh Bashem Yahusha, you'll notice that the men are prophesying. Okay, they're saying um, what's going to happen before they happen. They're going into the scriptures and reading it, okay, to the masses. And a lot of people like this Terry K. Anderson are, you know, basically, you know, faithless. Okay, they don't, you know, the scriptures say that they have a... Um, you know, they deny the power thereof, okay? They deny the power of the Most High that he's able to, um, you know, have prophets even in these latter days and they're going to have, uh, uh, you know, the Holy Spirit, okay? And they're going to be able to prophesy, you know, just, you know, and not all are prophets and we're going to go into that. But the Spirit and the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets. So, you know, once a prophet, always a prophet, Okay? That's that's the spirit that a that a man will have on him. Now, it's funny how these guys, you know, these these you know, and mainly Jake, you know, because Jake is the uh, the one that pushes church so heavy among our people. But we'll get this. This is First Corinthians twelve and twenty seven. Now ye are the body of Hamashiach and members in particular, and the Most High has said some in the church, first apostles secondarily prophets thirdly teachers after that miracles then gifts of healings helps governments diversities of tongues okay so the body okay of the lord is set up in order okay at first you're gonna have apostles secondarily you're gonna have prophets thirdly teachers and after that miracles okay then healings helps governments diversities of tongues Okay, this is in the New Testament. So if if you are of the body of, of, of Christ, okay, we'll say that for argument's sake because we don't use that word Christ. We know his name was not Jesus Christ. Okay, why are you not reverting to these scriptures? You see?
and that's what a lot of uh, people do. You know, a lot of people, they're just going off tradition. They're just going off and saying what other people have taught them and, 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 and making it a doctrine, which is not um, scriptural. And that's what you're seeing in these churches. And I, I did that was, you know, I did a video on that, you know, on this page, you know, followers of tradition. And that's what people are. OK. But it says here now, you're the body of Christ. OK. And members in particular. And the most high has said some in the church, first apostles, secondarily prophets, thirdly teachers. After that, miracles, then gifts of healings, helps, governments, diversities of tongues are all apostles. Are all prophets, are all teachers, are all workers of miracles, have all the gifts of healings, do all speak with tongues, do all interpret, okay? And the question is no, because there's members in particular. Every member has a particular office, has a particular gift, okay? But to say that there's no uh, apostles and there's no prophets, okay, is is uh, is false. That's That's a false doctrine. OK, and just because you don't believe it doesn't mean that it's true. But you see how uh, the simple believe with every word. OK, because all you got to do is. Uh, is research, man, is study. OK. But, our, but, but, you know, if you want to hide something, put it in a book because our people, they're, they're not going to read. There's another scripture here in Wisdom of Solomon that I wanted to get. Let's see. You know, and, and, and you can see Jake don't have the spirit, man. You know, the spirit is the divine influence from above, you know, uh, which, you know, moves you, pushes you to 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 read, gives you the understanding, opens up your mind. You, you can see it plainly in the congregation, you know, when they, and it was mainly women, you know, that, that's interesting, you know. But, um, you know, Jake, you, you're not to be that simple. You know, just believe in everything you hear. Um, this is Wisdom of Solomon uh, 7. Okay, and we'll start at... Um, we'll start at 24. For wisdom is more moving than any motion. She passeth and goeth through all things by reason of her pureness. For she is the breath of the power of the Most High. And a pure influence flowing from the glory of the Almighty. Therefore, can no undefiled thing fall into her. You see, so wisdom is the breath of the power of the Most High. You know, the Lord has to 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 really sup with you. He has to open up your mind. He has to give you wisdom, knowledge, understanding, the Holy Spirit. Okay. For she is the brightness of the everlasting light, the unspotted mirror of the power of the Most High, and the image of His goodness. Now listen to this. And being but one, she can do all things and remaineth in herself. She maketh all things new in and in all ages. Okay. It's a lot. And in all ages, entering into holy souls, she maketh them friends of the most high and prophets. You see. In all ages. Now, let's look up this word ages. Age. All right. The first definition is says the length of time that a person has lived or a thing has existed. Okay, lifetime. Right here it says similar. Okay, which you know you could say um, a synonym. For ages, lifetime, duration, length of life, stage of life, generation, age group. Okay. Well, let's see that what is the meaning of the word ages? The period contemporary with a person's lifetime or with his or her is or her active life a long time usually used in plural haven't seen him in ages you see second definition okay a distinct period in history an age of technological growth era epoch period time eon span okay so you get the point you know 
wisdom, you know, enters into holy souls, she maketh them friends of the Most High and prophets. Okay, in all ages. Okay, and in all ages, meaning in all lifetimes. We just we just read that. Okay, so in this in this age, okay. Right? What is this what does it say here? Synonym what? Lifetime. Okay. And in all ages too, because I believe uh, Jeremiah was 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 very young. Okay, the Lord can make you a prophet. You see? So obviously, you know, the, the church is it doesn't have the wisdom of the most high, okay? Cuz it comes from above. Okay. 25 for she is the breath of the power of the most high and a pure influence flowing from the glory of the almighty. You see, the most high himself through Yahweh Shai, through faith in Yahweh Shai, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, has to give you this wisdom. Okay. And in all ages, she enters into souls, making them friends of the Most High and prophets. Okay. What, did, what does uh, Amos. Okay. And we read both old and new. Okay. And the Apocrypha. The Apocrypha is also a part of the Bible. But what does it say? Amos 3. And 7. Surely the Lord power will do nothing. But he revealed his secret unto his servants. The prophets. Okay. You know. What do you. How should I say? You know. I, I call you. Uh, let's see. Let's find it real quick. Just to make a point. John 15 and 14 year, my friends, if you do whatsoever, I command you. This is written in the red. So the most high Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, whom the world ignorantly calls God and Jesus Christ. Okay. Does nothing but revealed his secret to his servants, the prophets. Okay. And, 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 and Yahweh Shai said year, my friends, if you do whatsoever, I command you. So that influence is going to be given to who? The friends of the most high, the prophets, the servants. They're going to have the understanding of the scriptures. They're going to be the one prophesying. They're going to be uh, the church, okay? Which the, the, the first are apostles, secondarily prophets, okay? They're going to be subject unto the prophets. Their spirits are going to come back in the reincarnation. They're going to be filled with unspeakable oracles, you know, just to recap, you know? Because Jake, you know, is, is real simple, you know? And, 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 you know, I don't know how anybody could sit there in that congregation and just, you know, just eat, eat that up, you know, and not question. That, that's totally not biblical. This is Ephesians 2, 19. Now, therefore, ye are no more strangers and foreigners, you see. That's if you come into this knowledge, if the Lord subs with you, if you understand this truth. You are no more strangers and foreigners. People in the church, they're still strangers and foreigners. They don't know that they're Israelites. You know, this thing is odd to them. Okay? But fellow citizens with the saints and the household of the Most High. Okay? The, the, the Lord says, Salakia, the Lord says that you have blessed you with heaven, heavenly places. Wait. Third verse, Ephesians 1 and 3. Blessed be the Most High. And the Father of our Lord Yahushua Hamashiach, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Hamashiach. So, when you come into the understanding that you're an Israelite, okay, you know the law, statutes, and commandments. You know, uh, uh, you know the Lord has blessed you with spiritual blessings in heavenly places. You are no longer a stranger and a foreigner, but a fellow citizen with the saints and of the household of the Most High. You see. And are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets. Yeah, Yahweh Shai himself being the chief cornerstone. Okay, so you guys sit in the church. Okay, you are not built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets that are here to this day. 
Okay? We just went through it. You are strangers and foreigners. You're not fellow citizens in the household of the Most High. You're really not blessed in, in heaven as spiritual blessings in heavenly places. Okay? You're on a low vibration. And I'm not saying that to, um, you know, insult, you know, but it, it's, it's of a truth. Okay? There's a spiritual awakening going on, you know? what's wrong with being an apostle or a prophet okay now he asks what's wrong with being a preacher well what's wrong with being an apostle or a prophet okay what's wrong with with the uh, uh uh you know how the heavenly father set his church up and th this is another example okay this is a this is a, a sign that we could very much be okay the church of the living power upon the earth that we could be okay uh, the whole elect all right with Yahweh himself being the chief cornerstone you see in whom all the building fitly framed together groweth unto an holy temple in the lord in whom ye also build it together for an habitation of the most high through the spirit so this is a temple that is being that is being built Okay, and the Lord dwells, okay, in his temple. All right, we don't need no church. The scriptures say, Know ye not the year, the temple of the most high? But see, that comes with 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 wisdom. Okay, you you know the scriptures say the Lord dwelleth not in temples made with hands, but he's habiting, okay, this temple, okay, starting with the men, okay, through the spirit. Okay. So you know, and Jake's gonna uh Jake's gonna deny what we're saying. And that's all right. Let's get this is Hebrews twelve and twenty five. See that ye refuse not him that speaketh. For if they escape not who refused him that spake on earth, much more shall not we escape if we turn away from him that speaketh from heaven. Okay, and we get this in the NLT, you know, it's 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 basically speaking about Moses. He spoke from the earth. Okay. The Most High gave him law, such as the commandments to give to Israel, and he was the spokesman. He was a prophet, and the Lord always spoke through prophets through all ages. It enters into holy souls, the wisdom, the influence from on high, and make it them friends of the Most High and prophets. Okay, NLT, be careful that you do not refuse to listen to the one who is speaking, for if people of Israel did not escape when they refused to listen to Moses, the earthly messenger, we will certainly not escape or reject the one who speaks to us from heaven. Okay, you're not you're not gonna escape, okay? The most high. Okay, because he sees and he sets men up, okay, and you must listen to them. You must listen to the prophets, man. The earthly messengers, the, the 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 mouth, okay, of the Most High. You know, the prophets were the mouthpiece of the Most High. Okay, just like uh, Moses was resisted and those men were swallowed up, so are all those who do not hear the prophets. What does Scripture say? Acts 3 and 23. Let's get it. Acts 3 and 23. Well, let's get 22. For Moses truly said unto the fathers, A prophet shall the Lord your power raise up unto you of your brethren like unto me. Him shall ye hear in all things whatsoever he shall say unto you. Okay. So Moses truly said, Okay, a prophet shall the Lord your God raise up. Okay, kind of like he raised me up. Him shall ye hear in all things, whatsoever he shall say unto you. But the prophets are, are, are speaking on behalf of the Most High, so you got to hear them. Okay, and many prophets came after Moses. Okay, even Yahweh Shai walked the earth. Okay, and he, and he was much more of a prophet. 
And, and, and you think you're going to escape the prophets? You're going to escape Yahweh Shai? No. There are men that are set up, okay, from before the foundation of the world to speak on behalf of the Most High. Okay? And it shall come to pass that every soul which shall not hear that prophet shall be destroyed from among the people. You see, yea, and all the prophets from Samuel and those that follow after as many as have spoken have likewise foretold of these days. You see, ye are the children of the prophets and, and of the covenant which the Most High made with our father, saying unto Abraham, in, and in thy seed shall all the kindreds of the earth be blessed. You see, the children of the prophets, you Israelites are the children of the prophets. That, that's, that's our heritage, man, to be prophets, to be kings and priests. Okay, it tells you that in Exodus, the 19th chapter. So what is this guy talking about, man? We're not just, uh, 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 you know, blindly walking the earth. The Heavenly Father set up pastures according to his heart that shall feed you with knowledge. And that's what people see, you know, and they feel a certain type of way. Because this truth is getting out, you know, it, you know, Gino Jennings. You know, and other guys have, have, have started to get into the scriptures that, you know, they're, they're, they're trying to tweak their doctrine and, you know, but they're not speaking the full truth. But, they, they, you know, this truth is, is, is falling on their ears. They're starting to hear. And I'm not saying that this guy, uh, you know, Terry Anderson heard, but, you know, I'm just saying. Unto you first, the Most High, having raised up his son, Yahweh Shai, sent him to bless you and turning away every one of you from his iniquities. Okay? Salvation is in Yahweh Shai, not in Jesus Christ, not in, not in that, that skewed doctrine, that half-truth. Okay? The Lord is dealing with his servants, his prophets. He gives them his counsel, okay? His purpose to speak upon on the earth. And I'm going to end one more. I'm going to end with this one. Revelation 18 and 20. Rejoice over her, thou heaven, and ye holy apostles and prophets, for the Most High avenged you on her. Okay? Speaking of what? Speaking of Babylon. Okay? Babylon is going to be destroyed, which Babylon is America. The prophets are going to prophesy to you, okay, that this, this great city is going to be destroyed. You see? But it says, ye holy apostles and prophets, rejoice over her, thou heaven, and ye holy apostles and prophets, for the Most High hath avenged you on her. When is this going to happen? This is in the book of Revelation. It's going to happen at the end of the world. Okay? In these latter days. You see? The holy apostles and prophets are going to rejoice because the Most High hath avenged them on Babylon so that means there would have to be apostles and prophets in, in, in the latter days that need okay to be avenged okay because in this place was found the blood of the prophets this is where they crucified uh, our savior and, and made him white okay and, and called him Jesus and, and totally manipulated the people into thinking okay that, that, that white is right and that that doctrine is the end all be all. And our people are stuck in it. But they're denying the power thereof. They're denying, okay, uh, you know, their power. Their God. Okay. So. There's going to be a judgment, man. To all those who deny the apostles and prophets, man. So Lord willing, this is uh, edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rokak Wadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and a sincere salutation to all you Akim and you Akwat that believe in all sincerity. Shalom.